The A320 pneumatic system supplies high pressure air for air conditioning, wing anti icing, water pressurization, hydraulic reservoir pressurization, engine starting. High pressure air can be supplied from three sources the engine bleed system, the APU, an external high pressure ground power unit. Note, the use of the wing anti-ice system is not possible when the pneumatic system is supplied by the APU. The pneumatic system is controlled and monitored by two bleed monitoring computers, BMC. There is one BMC for each engine bleed system. Both BMCs are interconnected and if one fails, the other takes over most of its functions. There are hot air leakage detection loops installed in the vicinity of the hot air ducts in the fuselage, wings and pylons. If a leak is detected, a signal is sent to the BMCs which automatically isolate the affected area. In flight, the primary source for high pressure air is the engines. Both engines have similar bleed systems. Air is bled from two compressor stages of the engine, the intermediate pressure IP port and the high pressure HP port. There is an HP valve which can cut off bleed air from the high pressure port. It is automatically controlled by the system. The high pressure section HP is only used when there is insufficient pressure from the intermediate output IP, i.e. when the engines are at idle. Once the engine speed is high enough, the IP pressure is sufficient and the HP valve closes. The air extracted from the compressor then goes to a bleed valve which acts as a shutoff and pressure regulating valve. Since the temperature of the bleed air is high, it goes through a pre-cooler before being distributed to the users. The pre-cooler uses cool air from the engine fan to regulate the temperature. Engine 2 has an identical bleed system. Both systems are connected by a cross bleed duct. A cross bleed valve permits their interconnection or isolation. The APU can also be used for bleed air supply. This is usually done on ground for air conditioning and for engine start. However, APU bleed air is also available in flight. APU bleed air is controlled by the APU bleed valve, which operates as a shutoff valve. Should the APU not be available, a high pressure ground power unit can be connected. This completes the pneumatic system. We will now show you how system information is displayed to the pilots. Information on the pneumatic system is displayed on the lower part of the ECAM bleed page. Note, we have shaded the upper part of the ECAM bleed page because it is related to the air conditioning chapter. This will be covered in a later module. Let's identify the system components on the ECAM page now. The IP and HP ports, the HP valves, 
the engine bleed valves, the pre-coolers, the APU bleed valve, the cross bleed valve, the high pressure ground connection. The following information is also displayed. Bleed air pressure, bleed air temperature, engine identification numbers. Controls for the pneumatic system are part of the air conditioning panel, located on the overhead panel. Again, we have shaded the controls which belong to the air conditioning chapter. Each engine bleed valve is controlled by its associated push-button switch on the air conditioning panel. The APU bleed valve is controlled by its related push-button switch. The cross bleed selector enables the pilot to open and close the cross bleed valve manually or to let the system operate the cross bleed valve automatically. Usually, the APU bleed air is used to start the engines. The APU is connected to the bleed system. You are ready for engine start. Notice that the engine identification numbers have turned white, indicating that the engines are running. The engine bleed valves remain closed because the APU bleed valve is open, and the APU has priority over the engine bleed. We can now switch the APU off. Observe the ECAM. The APU bleed valve is closed. The cross bleed valve is automatically closed. It is displayed amber during transit. The engine bleed valves and HP valves are displayed inline green because they have been automatically opened. We will now talk about the changes that occur in the pneumatic system during takeoff. Note, normally the ECAM engine page is displayed for takeoff. For training purposes, we will display the ECAM bleed page. As engine thrust is increased, the pressure delivered from the IP stages is sufficient and the HP valves are automatically closed accordingly. If the APU is inoperative, for bleed air supply, a ground HP air unit can be connected to provide pneumatic pressure for engine start. The ground unit's pressure and temperature are indicated on the ECAM. Notice that in this case, the cross bleed valve remains closed with the cross bleed selector in the auto position. In order to start engine 2 first, you have to manually set the cross bleed selector to open. This is done according to a procedure in your flight manual. 